It's all good. I don't even think they know that she's over there. Yeah, we're on anyway. two black men were turned away from a restaurant in St. Louis, Missouri as they tried to join friends after a wedding reception. The restaurant officials said an employee was concerned about the length of their hair. But shortly after the incident, the president and general manager admitted that it was because they had dreadlocks and they don't allow people with dirty hair into their restaurants. And they said, you can't wash that kind of hair. It just stinks and we have a crowded bar. Uh, needless to say, that manager was uh, fired. Everyone in this room has a hair story. And that hair story connects us to someone else. And while each person has a hair story, the story of black folks and our hair in the United States underscores the fact that with hair, the personal is political, and the political is professional. So consider the fact that India Ari, we know India Ari, in 2006, I am not here. Remember, she created some space for Akon to say, you know, even though I had a, a gumpy cut, <laughs> even though I had a flat top fade, even though I had some little twist, she said that I couldn't get no job because corporate wasn't hiring. the hair that got me this far. All the girls, these cribs, these cars, I hate to say it, but it seemed all flawed because success didn't come till I what? Cut it off. Mm. Consider these instances here of black men and black boys. 2018, a six-year-old black student in Florida was sent home from school because of his hair. The child's father was told that according to the school handbook, the boy's hair uh, was in dreadlocks and that's not permitted. 2018, a black New Jersey teenager was forced to cut his dreadlocks on the wrestling mat. On the wrestling mat. And when he won, did you see how dejected he was? That it wasn't even about the winning. 2020, in Texas, an 18-year-old was suspended from school for having dreadlocks and he started to grow when he was in seventh grade. He ended up withdrawing from the school. 2020, a second grade student and a 16-year-old high school student suspended because of dreadlocks. In Texas, 2021, three North Texas men with locks uh, were 
were told to cut your hair if you want to get this job. And in 2021, a police officer never thought his braided hair would interfere with his ability to do his job. All this is to say that we are not our hair, but our hair is part of who we are and how we are. So what does Indiara Reese say when she asks in that what we now call the black hair anthem in 2006? <laughs> does the way I wear my hair make me a better person? Right. Does the way I wear my hair make me a better friend? Does the way, the way I wear my hair determine my integrity? I'm just expressing my creativity and let me just add along to that. Does the way I wear my hair make me a better manager? Does it make me a better employer, an employee, a student? a doctor, a nurse, a teacher, a governor, a legislator, a parent, or a neighbor. Does the way I wear my hair make me better? I am not my hair. I am not my skin. I am not your expectations. I am not my hair. I am not my skin. I am the soul that lives within. Thank you, Governor Hobbs, for making black folks and our hair one less hurdle to jump over in many workplaces and social spaces. Yes. Wow. Yes.